and we started over the chemical reactions of first group, right? We started learning that how the first two metals react with oxygen, with water, and with dilute acids, right? Today, we'll complete the first group reaction and start off more with it. Okay, so listen please carefully and please stay very focused. So here's the periodic table. We are learning group one. I hope you know that they're called as alkali metals, right? So why they are called as alkali metals? So we call alkali metals. So if you remember the reaction, I remember that these metals react with water. These metals water se react with water. And they give you metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Recapping you, this metal hydroxide are the alkalis. Just now, acid base is sort putting it right. So I'll tell you what alkalis are, by the way. But at this moment, of course, the first group hydroxides are alkalis. Since these metals react with water and give alkalis, so they're simply called as alkali metals, right? So is reaction give a half feminine canal they are alkali metals. Why? Because they react with water and they give you alkalis. I'm moving on now, guys. We have now learned three reactions. Now the fourth reaction now, and that is reaction with halogens. So when, when I say the word when I say the word halogen, so halogen means group seven elements: fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetine. Are actually halogens, right? Famously, we react with chlorine, bromine, or iodine. So please remember, all group one metals have the ability to react with any halogen in the presence of heat because this heat serves as energy of activation for this reaction, right? And they'll give you a salt. It can be any group one metal. It can be any halogen of group seven. But this heat serves as energy of activation. If you don't heat, then the metal will react with halogen. Because it doesn't have energy of activation available. In the chemical bonding chapter, I will remind you of what was energy of activation. We asked you one or two marks question in the paper as well. What is energy of activation? It is the minimum amount of energy required. It is the minimum amount of energy required for reactants to convert into products. So normally it carries one or two marks in paper. So we ask you, what is meant with the term energy of activation? Okay, Example, let's take please. Let's take any metal. Let's take sodium. Energy. Uh, sodium will give you Na plus one. It's a After yeah. Plus one, seventh group, negative one. 